Hello everybody, in this video we will learn about positioning an object while game starts. So we can set any object's position when the, sides, uh, when the game plays. So uh, let's create an object to show this practical implementation. So 3D object, let's create a capsule. And now you can see various properties of this capsule. Here the first property is transform. So in this component we have three sub components. One is position, one is rotation and scale. So in position there is position you can see this is not zero zero zero. If we make it zero 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 you can see now the position of this capsule is something different. So we want that whenever we play the game our position of this capsule should be zero 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 so how we can do that now you, you can see we can move this capsule like this okay and the position can be anywhere uh, in the environment so we want it to be initiated at zero 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 position so for this purpose we have created one script called position and in this script if we want to access this component which is transform we will write transform let's make it in start function so we have written transform now we want to access the this position component inside this transform so we will write transform dot position okay if we want to uh, manipulate scale we can write local scale if we want to manipulate rotation we can write rotation uh, okay so like this so in this case we want to change the position so we will write position and then we will make it equal to because we want to change the position of this object so we will assign a new position so for new position we will write new and then vector 3 so vector 3 is used for positioning uh, x y and z axis of an object okay so vector 3 and then we will make curly br uh, these braces smaller braces and then we will write 0 comma 0 comma 0 for x axis for y axis and z axis now we can add semicolon at the end then we can save this script and then we will definitely add the script on our object so select select this capsule and we can drag drop this script here okay now whenever you can see the position now and whenever we will play the game the position will be zero 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 so you can see now the position of this game object is zero 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 so this is uh, all about the positioning system so for example we want to make this variable public okay we can do uh, that as well so for creating another vector 3 pub uh, variable we will write public vector 3 and then we can assign the name of this vector so uh, we can name it player pose and then we we will add this player position here okay as this is a public variable so in inspector now we will have one another field here and you can see player position and we can assign any position to this player okay x axis for example 1 y axis 1 z axis 1 so now when we play the game you will see that this position will be changed to 1 1 1 so let's play the game and now you can see our player's position is 111 so we, you can also make it 000, zero, zero to initiate from zero position okay 
so that's it about position of uh, the player while game starts and this is very important thing which you have to learn because we will use this concept again and again in unity programming that's it for this video let's meet in next video goodbye